Hey Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. I'm doing your daily love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus fire signs. Uh, these are timeless because we are all living on different timelines. So time is fluid, not linear. So when you see the message, that's when you're meant to. All messages won't resonate with every single one of you. So please just take what fits, leave what don't. And have fun with it. All right, fire signs. Let's see what your card of focus is today. You have chemistry. Somebody else had that air sign. I think had that as your their clarifying card. So there's a strong magnetic connect or attraction here, and it is clarified with express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. It is reciprocated. All right, fire sign. Let's see what you got going on in love, spirit guides, and angels. Please bring the message that's most important and for our fire signs, best and highest good. Please bring messages of truth, love, and healing to Mary Slingo Sagittarius. What messages do you want them to know today? All right, you guys have the devil in reverse as your first card out. Could be dealing with a Capricorn <clears throat> or you're breaking free um, from something that's had a tie or bond to you or held you back for quite some time. Releasing obsessive thoughts and also seeing, all right, the person you're dealing with is the Knight of Pentacles. Could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. The Two of Pentacles is the energy of the relationship. Spirit's advice. Spirit's advice. What advice do you have for our Aries Leo Sagittarius in love today? The Page of Wands. And the potential outcome is the fool. What you don't know, I have to look forward to, is the Nine of Pentacles. It is clarified with the Two of Swords and the Hierophant. All right. So, Get some clarifiers here. Why is the devil here in reverse? Why is the devil here in reverse for our fire signs? The king of rods. All right. So um, coming in in the upright as a clarifier. Amazing. So definitely getting out of your head. Definitely getting over obsessive thoughts about somebody. Um, successfully breaking um, breaking away from somebody who um, there was a strong, strong connection to. Um, this is going to welcome in somebody else that you're going to have almost instant chemistry with. Uh, but Yeah, the Eight of Cups. But I was just going to say, but I do feel you're walking away from somebody who has kept you waiting a long, long time. Um, you felt like you had to have this person. You felt like they were your soulmate. They were your twin. You had to wait for them forever. Um, that you were going to wait until the end of time. Well, you're now getting back your confidence. You're getting your... Uh, you're getting... Oh, how do I want to say that? You're walking away from this person that put you in this situation um, because you're finally realizing your value. And if you haven't chosen me yet, what makes me think that you're going to choose me now? Um, and this is truly going to bring the tower down in their life. They thought you would wait forever for them. 
Um, that's why they've been taking their slow ass time. Um, because they're in a juggling situation. They could be married. You're choosing to invest in yourself. You're choosing to focus on yourself. You're choosing to invest in your own future because somebody wouldn't make the decision to leave a marriage. So you're now no longer um, being an option. You're removing yourself from the choice that they have. Um, why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Yeah, they were definitely the devil there. They were the one that put you in this weight. Could be Capricorn, could be Virgo, but they're the ones that was tied and bound. Okay, it's a Virgo because we got Knight, uh, Devil, Knight. So um, could be a Virgo somewhere. Well, don't get hung up on science because everyone has every zodiac in their chart. So this is just somebody who is very slow. That was um, legally bound to somebody else in a marriage. And they have been slowly trying to break free from that. Well, you're no longer wanting them. Uh, they can keep whatever they're doing, whatever they're doing. You're walking away and, um, and getting back to yourself. Getting back in that high vibration energy. Why is the two uh, pentacles here for the relationship energy? You're tired of being um, constantly juggled. You're tired of them not investing solely in you. You want somebody that uh, you want somebody that will actually want to invest and make a future. You're hearing the wake up call. This is breaking. Okay, so this is a cycle over and over and over. You were in a karmic cycle with this person until you learned the lesson and broke free. And you are now breaking the karmic lesson that they're trying to keep putting you in this cycle. But you're not having it. You're breaking out of it. And you're no longer going to be juggled. You're no longer going to go round and round with this person for another uh, go around on the roller coaster. I mean, look at the water behind them. Roller coaster of emotions. You're tired of it. You're putting a stop to it because you've learned the lesson. You're not going through one more heartbreak with this person. They could have come and gone. This could have been your third or fourth cycle of being a third party or have or them having a third party. You're no longer going to go through the heartache. You're no longer going to go through the betrayal. Yeah, you're expressing your feelings, but you're telling them I'm out. Like I'm, I'm not going to be an option and sit here and watch. Um, I deserve more. I am moving on with a page of wands. You have a new enthusiasm for your future. You're ready to get out there and discover new things. And that's exactly what your advice is to remove yourself from the situation. You may seem cold hearted when you're doing this. You may um, not seem like you have much emotion, but that's just because you have gone through this so many times. It's like you're numb to the, to the feeling anymore. Um, you're ready to set out and find that soulmate. And that's exactly what you're going to do by walking away and breaking this cycle. You are going to meet somebody who you are strongly uh, magnetically attracted to because you're coming out of this transformation and look at how beautiful you are blossoming blooming um, just glowing and you're ready to get back out there so you are taking your lesson with you most definitely taking the lessons with you but leaving the heartache behind and moving forward to start something new the potential outcome for this most definitely moving away single moving towards victory by investing in yourself, by stepping out on your own, single, ready to begin a new cycle in life, uh, knowing that you're going to land on your feet no matter what, and find success. Um, that's, and this, I mean, you're protected by the divine. Yeah, wow, three major arcana. Uh, you could be meeting somebody new with this chemistry in the next full moon, um, but you most definitely are manifesting, manifesting uh, somebody who's going to equal, uh, equally match your vibration, somebody who wants to invest in you as much as you want to invest in them. Um, you are manifesting this into your life as we speak um, with the justice card. They're not making a choice to divorce. So you're making the choice on your own. You are illuminating 
or things are being illuminated to you about their connection and you're realizing they're never going to leave. They're not going to leave. So you're setting out on your own path, your own journey, manifesting a new connection and doing it absolutely. You're following your intuition. You're following your inner guide. And it's telling you it's time to move on, time to move forward. Take that leap of faith in yourself and you will be successful. So if this situation sounds like yours, join me on the Vimeo side where we'll be going over the blocks that uh, you're experiencing, what actions you need to take, and the outcome for the next couple of weeks with this situation and uh, see where this is headed. All right, Fire Signs, thank you so very much for joining me here on YouTube. Please subscribe and like the video if uh, this resonated. And I will see you guys tomorrow. God bless.